Hey, this is Teresa at Track Creation 4E, where we explore, experiment, and execute effectively. Today, I want to show you how you can add more than three time zones to your Outlook Online calendar. You don't have to remember those time zone abbreviations or the UTC, which is the universal time coordinates. And the best part of it is, is once you create these and have them part of your settings, all you have to do is show and hide them when you want to use them. So let me show you how. Okay, so I have navigated to Adele's profile and I've already created several time zones. And the one that is closest to the date is going to be your primary time zone. If you hover over top and click on this, you can look at all the time zones that you have pre-created. I have 10 here and I can select the ones that I want. I maybe want this one. However, I cannot select multiple selections um, at one time. In this particular view, if you go down to edit time zones, now you can click all the ones that you want to have displayed. You can move them up or down or delete it all together. And if you want to add a new time zone, click add time zone. Now, what's nice about this is if you don't know what the, you know, um, the abbreviation is, you can enter in the city. And it's going to give you multiple selections and you choose what is the correct one. You can also give it a label for whatever you want to call in and how you can recognize it. And um, what about um, if you're looking for an international um, time zone? I'm going to just type in Japan and notice that it's giving me a list of cities that is showing here. Again, I can give this a name. Save it. And there it is, it shows up on my screen. So that's 11 time zones right there. Now, a couple other things I wanna show you that when you click on the day view, your time zones are, um, are displayed. If you click on work week and week view, but not the monthly view, it does not appear. Now, I wanna show you an alternative method for you to get to the actual um, calendar settings. If you click on the view tab up at the top and click on calendar settings, and then scroll to time zone area. Okay, there you have it. We have explored and experimented with Outlook Online's time zone so you can execute effectively. Remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more tricks and tips. Now, go work your magic.